Hey, what's up everybody? So I got a question for you. This is 95% uh, of the components for the VIC circuit. So, if we could turn this into a circuit board, what would it look like? That's a, just a giant mess. And the answer? It'd look like this. And, uh, yeah, cool. So, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. And uh, thanks for Sharky, who actually had a couple of these made, prototype boards. Um, we did find one small error, which actually we removed a potentiometer, and then uh, Sharky forgot to add the uh, jumper. So we made a little jumper. Not a real big deal. That's why this is a prototype board. <clears throat> the only thing I got left here is uh, a few uh, capacitors, 33 UF capacitors, <clears throat> but yeah, these uh, little heat sink tabs are going to work out quite well. Came off of a pile of TV components. Good thing I ripped them off there, huh? Uh, might cut the screws off, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. So, uh, real quick, I want to I want to kind of show you how uh, the components. There are the uh, external components. Basically, the feedback coil goes here. Uh, primary coils here, the battery is here, and then I'll show you the placement of all the other components. Now, more, one thing I want to show you guys and uh, kind of inform you is how to use your resources. I keep telling you guys, use your resources. Use your resources. What does that mean? I'll show you. Uh, this, if I can see what I'm doing, there we go. This right here is how I've got my potentiometers connected. There. I've got them connected, soldered up to this wire. Now if any of you has taken a PC apart, you know exactly what this wire is right here. This is a fan PC wire. And there you go. That plug right there is off of a standard fan. Well, guess what? Worked perfect for this. And what I've done is placed these little things connectors all right and I went and got some fans good bad doesn't matter cut the cords off and now you've got nice a nice way to connect your pots so this keeps the circuit clean keeps it looking nice and it's a way to recycle those old connectors most TVs some of them's got some connectors like this but these three prong fans were great so that's where the pots go on off cell switch same situation that's a plug off of a fan a little bit different fan only got two power wires these have a feedback on them for RPM current drill whatever it's for frequency range alright so my selector switch for that stiff wire on that one the others are a little bit flexible and then my uh, 2N3055 just like it so that's the complete circuit um, and that's how it goes together and again you just hook up your power feedback and your other stuff uh, again this is a prototyping board but you can find the circuit over at the forums and the last video I linked in the description or I had a link in the description in my last video and I can do that again for you so if you'd like to know more about this, you want to know how it works, you don't want to know what it is, or you guys are new to this video series uh, and what I'm trying to do, and you guys have just no idea, go to rwgresearch.com and go to open-source-energy.org as well. Read up, see what it's all about. This particular device um, is a VIC circuit. Basically, it's an auto-tune voltage intensifier driver. And... Uh, the voltage intensifier circuit looks I'm not going to be able to get this out of there yeah we'll get it out of there great footage huh alright anyway voltage intensifier circuit in this application looks like this and so you hook up the primary uh, secondary and your feedback which I don't have feedback on here 
primary feedback onto here. Now the coils go to your cell. So anyway, uh, most of you know this, but I thought I'd inform this for some of you who have no idea what the heck this is. Look up Stanley Meyer, and uh, you'll do some uh, lots and lots of digging, reading, and watching of videos. So that's it. Cool beans. Uh, everything turned out really well. The soldering job turned out real well. Didn't do too bad at all. Circuit board soldered pretty well. Um, last recommendation for anyone who is building any circuits on a circuit board. Do yourself a favor. Spend a couple extra dollars and buy these little connectors for your IC chips. If you burn up an IC chip, and you probably will, it's very difficult to get out. Um, but in this case, if I burned this particular IC up here, I can just pull it out, replace it, and I'm done. It's an op amp. Alright, so I recommend buying these. That's what they look like. Um, I bought these from a store in China, I think, and they were pretty cheap. Bought a whole bunch of them. Alright, I'm going to quit boring you guys. Have a good day. God bless. Take care. And uh, leave a comment, as always. When I get around to it, I will reply, if I possibly can. I've been trying to catch up on emails. I haven't been over to the forums in like a week and a half, so my apologies for anybody who's waiting on a comment over there. See you later. Have a good day. Bye.